Hey there and welcome back. In this tutorial we will procedurally model a cookie using VDB and noises. Let's start by dropping a geo container, diving inside and creating a sphere. Now let's clip it and transform it in the Y axis to make it flat. Closing the mesh with a polyfill and saving the patch group. Extruding the patch group and saving the front seam for the next step. Now we can bevel the front seam and finally subdivide the mesh to give the VDB a smoother input. Let's drop a VDB from polygons, increase a bit the resolution, we will increase it even more for the final mesh. Change the name to density and fill the interior, these are common settings for a VDB setup. We can smooth the VDB quite a bit and let's drop a volume drop. Let's start by deforming a bit the overall shape with an AA noise, adding it to the density. And decrease the intensity with a multiply constant. We will also need to increase the exterior band to avoid those holes in the volume. One thing that we can also change is how the bottom is deformed by the noise as usually it's pretty flat. So let's export an attribute using the relative bounding box Y components so we can visualize it. Drop a color node before the VDB from polygons and in the surface attribute save out the point.cd as color. We end up with this fog-like preview, so let's hide it with a visualize node. Now we need to convert it to polygons and with an attribute from volume we can finally visualize the attribute color. Let's adjust the ramp to mask out the bottom part. And back to the VOP we, we just need to multiply the noise by the mask and the bottom should be flat now. Now we can add our main noise, a unified static, connect it to the position and create a control for the frequency and amount. We want to use the Worley F2 F1, reduce the intensity and invert it with the complement checkbox. With a fit range we can clamp out the inputs to create those typical broken parts and finally add some fractal distortion. You can also play with the scale of the noise or even reduce the effect with the fit range and multiply constant. Here I'm just creating switch notes to turn on and off the effect of each noise so we can focus on each noise separately. Let's duplicate the unified noise setup to create the next effect. Here we just need to clamp a bit more the input, play with the frequency and remove the fractal. We will instead use a turbulence to distort a bit the noise, so we can create some details on the cookie surface. We just need to add the turbulence to the position input of the original noise. In the final resolution everything will be more detailed, let's keep it low res for now to have a faster feedback. So in this final noise we want to create some fine details. Let's use again a unified noise and copy the setup notes from before. We'll use a Worley F1, play with the fit range and finally scale the effects to have those fine details. Let's enable all the noises and set a final resolution on the VDB. And as you can see all the details are now much more pronounced, you can always play with the noises and get your own result. From here you can compose the scene and take it to Solaris with some procedural noises and masks generated. You can create some materials for the cookies and render it. So yeah, hopefully you learned something new and you can grab the scene file from my Patreon if you want to play with it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.